hello everyone welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts I am Anna Vanilla and this is the channel where I share everything that I know everything that I like to do uh, all my hobbies and experiences I've had in my life I share with you with pleasure and at the moment I'm doing a wall hanging. This is the wall hanging. Uh, I do it with acrylic yarn. I always like to sort of economize and also um, use my odds and ends and unravel the yarn and I make use of all of my yarn uh, in the nicest kind of way I can do it and at the moment I am um, keen to do this pattern this wall hanging as you can see it's a llama uh, it's got like a yellowish accent here which looks nice the two legs and nose and eyes is just a touch of detail without being too complicated and as you can see the, the background matches nicely to the color that I'm using here I obviously use acrylic yarn at the moment for this wall hanging I hope it will turn out to be quite nice and quite something special I do um, so this is the pattern I'm about here if I can see, yeah uh, 10th row so I'm somewhere here so it's a little bit more to go to get to the middle of this pattern and finishing it the pattern I've used pattern I'm using is from bracelet book well-known pattern and I love it so much I thought I'm going to do a wall hanging for myself which I will hang on the wall and proudly love it and accept it these are obviously odds and ends uh, which will be hidden in the end of this work this is the llama head that is revealing here I'm using a pinkish color tone for the llama because I thought it might be a bit more sort of unusual rather than making it white or gray like it's um, in the pattern here so I'm doing a pinkish color tone to the llama um, the background matches pretty nicely and I am already doing the eye here the eye of the llama so now I'll be doing the nose then I'll do the uh, yellow carpet or something on top um, and it should turn out quite nice hopefully it will turn out quite nicely I hope you can do this pattern as well as you can see I've chosen even the wooden dowel to be uh, greenish in color so that it matches the background of this uh, llama project and I think it should turn out to be quite nice quite nicely I hope I hope you'd love it and um, I hope you can do one yourself it it should turn out quite nicely I think a wall hanging to be proud of 
So I'll be continuing this area now.
hello everyone again and again and this is our finished little um, llama carpala llama i finished it finally i've done a nice cord here a plaited cord with two colors that were present in the, the um, um, background as well as this little carpet over the decorative piece over the llama as you can see the feet are cute and the eyes and nose is cute uh, a little bit fancy um, I have tied the knots here to harmonize with the piece and I have hidden all the threads with um, the needle uh, carefully as you can see I kept the knots a little bit more inwards rather than rather than upwards so it looks uh, kind of like tidy at the back now than what it was before I've used I've used acrylic yarn as you can see with the cotton strings I use cotton strings as a base uh, uh, strings for the um, tapestry so it doesn't stretch but um, because acrylic yarn usually stretch stretches quite a lot but if you do not with um, acrylic yarn it looks quite nice it it can uh, become quite a nice piece after all and I hope you like you like it I put a bit of um, um, tape in here to hang it on the wall and I'm going to show you how it looks uh, being hanged on the wall I hope you're going to like it I love it I think it's very cute the animal looks very cute very fancy very uh, contrasting against the background I like the yellow accent here I like the eyes nose and feet um, having this kind of like uh, dark blue color tone to it and it looks quite nice I love it I have a farm not far away living from me being from me uh, near to my home and it's called Karpala Lama Karpala farm and they've got plenty of llamas there so I've been inspired a long time to do a piece like this one with a llama because I think they are such a beautiful and cute animals so I usually go there just to see the llamas and they are fantastic and their wool is very expensive indeed it's very high quality wool that they produce they are cute indeed, like a funny little characters from the cartoons. <coughs> like so. The wooden dowel I've chosen to be greenish to harmonize with the background, so it looks uh, matching. The, the bands here, the strings I've used also like the background, so it looks. Uh, harmonized too i hope you're going to like it and please uh, like my video and comment below if you like this piece and don't forget you can do this uh, llama from presleybook.com and we can all enjoy llamas in our home like this one in particular so I hope you're going to be doing a llama yourself and bring some llamas into your home, into your beauty 
to enhance your woes, your creations, your creativity. Thank you very much. This is how it looks on my wall. As you can see, I've hanged it here. And the llama has its new home. I hope you like it, how it looks like on my wall. And maybe you're going to do one yourself. As you can see, it's got another neighbor here, which I've done previously. Some oranges. And now, and has a neighbor with um, this Asian guy that I've made a while ago. And here's llama in between of them. I hope you like the combination in my home, the look of my home. I think llama just brings the, the light into my home. I love it so much, so I hope I hope llama enjoys herself too. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos and see you soon. I was Anna Vanilla. Bye!